welcome to today's video. This week's theme of We're In Tech Friends is things to do while you're in self-isolation or such quarantine. Anyway, I just thought I'd do this week's theme because of the coronavirus going on and, you know, give you ideas what to do while you're indoors. If you're that sort of person who likes to go out all the time, but you kind of can't unless you really, you can't really go out at the moment unless you really, really need to. So I'm going to give you a few of my ideas and a few other ideas. First one on my list is to make a video. I'm doing that right now. If you like to make videos, do that. Anything to do with YouTube. You film a video from a music video for very back. If you do that, let me know. I'd love to see it for my vlog. Even if you're the self isolate and doing what you do at home. So that's what my vlogs are gonna be like at the moment. If I do vlog, I might do more of those. I have part of one that might go up next Saturday, but do more of those. I say might, but we'll see. Do <laughs> a tag video. Sorry about that. I was talking about tags and stuff, but my camera ran out of storage, so I had to delete a bunch of old videos that I've already edited. Anyway, yeah, make a video, do a tag video, a vlog video, talking video, talk about special interests, collection video, I don't know, anything. Next one, I guess, goes in with making a video. Make a TikTok. I know, I've got a perfect song, you know, I've done this on TikTok, but I don't know, you can make a TikTok and be like, I, give it somehow, I, I do like the music thing for some reason, but say no. Yeah, love like more. Yeah, you don't have to lip sync to songs. You could do anything. I don't know. It's just some. It's just an idea. If you like TikTok, of course. If you don't, then yeah, I know a lot of people find it cringy, but it's fine. I don't think I'd ever get it again, but yeah. Next one is to play a game. Like if you've got a Switch or PC, phone, you can even play games with phone these days. Laptop, Switch, Xbox or whatever console, even old school consoles like the Nintendo Wii, GameCube and whatnot. Yeah, you can play a game. This is just some of my games, but you just play any game that you own. Is it first thing? The next one you could cook some whatever you got left in the house, cook something up, I don't know, bake something. Or if you've got leftover fruits and stuff, make a smoothie or something since it's well, it is here and it might not. I don't know if it is everybody. Well, obviously not everybody. Well, like Argentina and Australia. It's like opposite. <laughs> kind of weird, but kind of cool. Next one. If you like to read, read a book that you haven't read in a long time or read a new book or I don't know. Just read a book if you like to read. Next one is very important because it can be easy to forget to do. I need to tell this to myself as well. <laughs> Self-care. Take time to care about yourself and like take time for you. Take a nice shower or a bath face mask and stuff all oh, pamper yourself up i know you're not going out but you can do it for you only you don't have to show anyone you can just do it for yourself if you like doing makeup do your makeup if you like painting nails paint your nails which i'm painting my nails now i'm back to nail polish because i'm not risking going to the nail bar so i'm just going to paint my nails with normal nail polish and i actually like doing it do your nails give yourself a pedicure do your hair nice dye it if you've got a dye lying around i don't know you know do things for you don't do things like you might paint your nails and do your makeup for other people this time do it for you well you just always do it for yourself anyway use face masks if you have any and stuff. next one might sound Boring, but you could do chores if you've been meaning to tidy your room do that reorganize your room reorganize anywhere in your house wash the dishes reorganize your pictures which i thought about doing there's something to do do the cleaning hoover and just stuff like that perfect time to do it if you've kept meaning to do it do it now next one you can relax because relaxing and chilling out is important so definitely do that don't feel guilty for the amount of times you've relaxed when you think you should be doing something productive i know i could be guilty of that but like told you like you know what it's okay to take a bit of a lazy time and have a bit of chill time not keeping myself busy and productive all the time because that's how you burn yourself out next one is to watch netflix if you've been meaning to watch a new show on netflix give it a watch or watch what you're currently watching watch some movies or if you've got dvds watch a movie uh watch tv even though there's probably nothing on tv well there is but like nothing interesting i don't really watch a lot of tv I don't recommend, well, if you want to watch the news, but if it's not helping you mentally, then don't, I guess. It's good to be aware of what's going on, but, like, if it's affecting your mental health that much, take, turn it off and do something else. It'll help take your mind off it. Try to be positive about it. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be positive about it, even though it is, like, scary. And that's kind of why I'm self-isolating, so it doesn't make me worry as much, I guess, because when I go out, I worry about it. <laughs> More about people and everything. Like, you don't know who's going to, you can't trust anyone, but or watch YouTube, like, you're watching us from we're in heaven you can watch our videos my videos your favorite youtubers new youtubers search up random stuff on youtube anything like that you can listen to music if you've got cds put a music on you can have a dance and whatnot um next one if you like to do it you can you can make music if you like to make music i don't know some people that do but i try getting into it but it worked for me next one you can draw on color like if you have some of these coloring books 
you can just sit. I might try and do more card around. It's relaxing, it takes your mind off things. Oh, some of my drawings are in here and some of them behind me. I can do that. I was thinking about doing some drawing. I haven't done anything. I last did a fan art for my friend Dandy because he did me one. Which I did like his on the screen and I did that for him. Next one, you can learn something new or just or do anything you enjoy or something you used to enjoy and see if you can get back into it sort of thing. Well, you can learn something new, like you can learn how to cook a new recipe or learn how to cook in general if you can't cook uh learn tiktok dances i know it's a su suggestion learn to write with your left hand which is something i thought about doing but like you can do that for it. i'm just trying to think a new things you could do do something you wouldn't usually enjoy but you feel like you would enjoy like if you don't draw give it a go if you don't color give it a go if you don't make youtube videos you could give it a go see if you like it Anyway, next one, you can go on your computer, or laptop, or your phone. Phone going on my laptop or desktop PC, which is over there. Yeah, you could just go on your computer, play games, like I said. You could watch YouTube on it, you could do YouTube on it. Well, you can on your phone these days as well, but you could organise things on your computer, like your desktop and your... Like, if you... Well, my desktop isn't too messy right now, but I've just got a video I need to edit, which I do need to finish editing that. It's an autism video, so I've left them on my desktop for now. You could organise your folders. You know, you can just organise things on your laptop and other stuff, I don't know, coding, whatever you'd like to do on your computer, for Photoshop, graphics design, I don't know, anything. Next one, go online, go on the internet and just like go on social media. I mean, be careful as well because it can affect your mental health. Like if you feel like it's getting too much with all the coronavirus on Twitter and whatnot, it's okay, take a break off that now and then, take a step back. You can go on social media to talk to your friends and... Yeah, just talk to your internet friends on Instagram, direct messages, Twitter, direct messages, Discord, which is my favourite place, Skype, which I like barely use to work. And you could also video call, voice call your friends on FaceTime, Discord, Skype, Hangout, or whatever the fuck you use. I don't know, honestly, but message a friend that you haven't talked to in a long time, be like, hey, how are you doing? Because they might love to hear from you. Yeah, it's just, it's just if you feel like you're getting lonely in this isolation, you feel like you're missing your friends, message them. You can sort out your Instagram feed which I thought about doing and think about what to post because I don't post much on my public Instagram but yeah you could sort out your Instagram feed and think about what to post I need to do that because my last post was my hair so that's something you could do you could think about what pictures to post on your Instagram next one you could stay up late or pull an all-nighter I feel like my sleeping schedule is going to get so fucked up this self-isolation a few nights ago I went to sleep at like 3 a.m not 3 a.m 5 a.m and I can't even blame Dan this time because it's not his fault so I used to sometimes blame him for when he kept me up that late it wasn't his fault I decided to in a way nice day up later than him so i can't exactly blame him this time yeah i was i was planning on saying that late like, that night i didn't think i'd actually go through with it and then i think the night after i went to sleep at like 3 a.m and i think last night i went to sleep at like 3 a.m you could even make a video out of it some people have i thought about it but i don't know but yeah next one is to work out i know this one's more difficult but you can do workouts at home like if you've got just dance you can play just dance or just dance to your favorite songs it's some kind of exercise walk around the house walk down, up and downstairs do, do watch some workout videos on youtube and do some of that and there's workout apps like seven minute workout which i have that and there's others but i don't know what they're like so i know some people like going to the gym going for runs and walks i think you still technically can go for walks but you gotta be careful but i haven't risked risk risked it risked it i don't think i want to or you can go in your back garden and do something like if you've got a trampoline jump on that i don't know i know it could be more difficult trying to work out when you're at home like i'm definitely trying to next one you could do is write a diary whether you have a, a notebook lying around you can write your diary about you know how you feel if you feel a bit down and whatnot it's a good way to help with your mental health as well if you don't like writing with a pen and pencil yeah you can write diaries in one note which this is one note on here or note app on your computer notepad on windows notes on your laptop or notes on your phone like google keep notes or notes on your iphone which is kind of similar to the one on the mac that's something you can do keep a diary write how you feel about the coronavirus write it down i know it's scary for a lot of people and it might be affecting people's mental health i get that but you can just write about it get it off your mind a bit next one you could do writing like you could write a blog if you like doing that you could write a story uh what else do people like to write write a song i don't know things like that write a poem last one 
one on my list, you could do a live stream on Twitch, YouTube or Instagram and TikTok or whatever other apps have a live stream feature these days. Which I didn't realise TikTok had a live stream feature. More you know, huh? I know Instagram does, I never live streamed on there. Maybe I should give it a go one day. I know I say this with YouTube, like I might, I might do more live streams. What about it? But I don't know. It's just not one of them things I'm 100% comfortable with. Could give it a go and do another live stream. Give me something to do, but I honestly don't know. That's what you could do. Do a live stream. Oh yeah, the last one. Drink plenty of water. It's very, very important to stay hydrated. Not just because it's been because of this virus as well, but in general, it's good to. I know this can be hard. I know, like... I've been trying to keep hydrated. I know because of this virus, I've kind of been focused on that and like worrying about washing my hands more and you know, trying to keep safe with the virus. I kind of forget to drink more because like before this virus, I'd be focusing on trying to drink more water. Yeah, this virus has got me focused on me washing my hands and trying to stay safe. And then I kind of keep forgetting to drink water. Well, these past few days, I think I've done pretty well. I know it could be easy to forget to stay hydrated. I don't know what else to say. I just said what's on this list and I, and I said some that come to mind. But I hope this gives you some ideas on what to do in your self isolation slash quarantine. If you're thinking, oh, I'm so bored, nothing to do. I guess like people who are extroverts and like going out and like don't like staying indoors all the time. I, well, so far I've been alright with the isolation, but I haven't gone insane just yet. We'll see in another few weeks. But the best thing is, I know it's difficult at times, it's just to try and stay positive and know that we will get through this. I know it's going to be hard, it's going to get worse before it gets better. But yes, we will get through this. Pandora. Even, I know it's really scary right now and you've got to take your precautions and stay safe. Stay indoors as much as you can and then you go out if you really need to which is what I'm doing. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you all stay safe and take the proper precautions to stay safe. I know this is scary. Really scary. Like I said the best thing is to try positive, stay safe, take the proper precautions to stay safe if you do need to go out and whatnot. But like I said we will get through this and it will get worse before it gets better. We've just got to try and be positive and keep ourselves busy relax take time for ourselves keep in touch with friends and family on social media facetime whatever the fuck i'm gonna go now so i hope you all enjoyed this video bye guys <laughs>